Hello everyone. Today we're out on Whiteheart Island and we're doing a drive, but this time we're basically doing um it's like a coyote drive. And I'll show you where we're gonna start. We're basically starting on these three ponds and we're gonna drive from there all the way up to this point. Now we have wiggles out on this point right now, and I'm kind of right on the pond, that way if anything comes back and tries to bust back. I'm basically here to uh, stop them from getting away. All right, so here you can see we have a couple people on the left of us and Wiggles is on the right, right in front of me on this point. He's actually only about 280 to 300 meters away from me. So everything's gonna come all the way down to this point and stop right here. And when this happens, stuff's gonna try and bust back and I'm gonna be here to prevent them from getting back. Now, this is kind of how the drive works. As soon as people get to this point, they kind of just push right to the right, right towards um, this middle island here and Wiggles will be right there in order to shoot anything that's coming by. Alright, here you can see we have a couple of yotes coming through and I actually pulled out my round gun. But we got him hit pretty good. And there's another one coming. That's actually a buck right there. He's not super big, but then we got another coyote coming here. All right, so he's definitely hit too. And you can see all these animals that just busted out here. Wiggles actually never saw them. And that's the reason why I have this stand here. Just so the fact that in case there's a big buck, he might try and cut back before he gets to the point. All right, so right there on this point, I see a deer run past me. And as soon as it passes, I'm actually whisper chatting uh, Wiggles right now. He says he sees a non-tip. And I'm kind of just shocked because we haven't seen a non-tip in quite some time. And then he tells me it's a giant. So in my opinion, it's going to be 250 plus or at least 200 plus, which is a huge non-tip. And it's pretty cool because we have three drivers and we have two posters. So odds are someone's going to get a shot at this buck. So shortly after we realized this non-tip was here, a buck bust out right past to my right. And I didn't get a good look at him. I really didn't. So I thought that possibly could have been him. But I went back and checked the uh, video. And I realized it was only a 120's whitetail. So it was not him. Alright, so everybody's right at the point now. And this buck should be definitely coming towards Wiggles. Or somebody should see him by now. But nobody did. So apparently this buck busted back. Right back through all the other drivers. And what we decided to do was do a reverse drive. So we're going to push the buck back the same way he came from. And I'm kind of posting up in this tree stand here. And we have uh, Johnny um, to my right about 300 meters away. So hopefully someone will see this buck. Alright, so we're just getting up in the stand right now. And nothing's really going on. We have a couple of does down here. And a coyote. But there's no sign of this monster buck. We just can't figure out where he's at, and Johnny doesn't see anything either. But it probably doesn't help that somebody took a shot right next to him recently. So, all we can do now is try and find his track. But the problem is, we don't really know what his weight is on his track. Because there's like three different buck tracks right in the same spot. So, basically we just decide to run around and search for the heaviest track. And try and pick it up and see what happens. Alright, so what happens is I found a track that was 85 to 100 kg right next to the stand that we were just in and the track said fleeing I think it was like 35 to 40 minutes away so that basically means he was there right before we got into that stand and he must have crossed he mu we basically must have crossed paths and we never got a chance to see him so we got on this track and Wiggles actually found the next track. I couldn't find his next track because it just kept going in circles. But finally Wiggles found his next track. And we kept tracking him all the way down the shore. And I knew he was close. But the problem is, there's like six people that want to shoot this non-tip. And they all know he's big. And basically I'm trying to get Wiggles to get this non-tip before anyone else can. And I have a solid circle right here. Fresh fleeing tracks. 1 to 15 minutes away, so he's going to be right at this point somewhere really close. The only problem is, it's all open down here, and we can see all the way through this whole woods, 
And to the right of us is uh, the lake here. There's no sign of him anywhere whatsoever at all. But the problem is the grass is so thick that we just can't see him. But I know he's close. So here we have Wiggles and I believe Spider Monkey is right behind us. He just wanted to come along to watch. And I'm just trying to find this thing. But if you look closely, he was actually right there to my left and I did not see him. He's right there. So Wiggles sees him at this moment and I'm trying to get on him. And he's already dead. So there he is, he's going to pick him up and see what he scores. He scores 287.1 and that's his personal best non-typical whitetail, biggest one he ever shot and this is the actual trophy shot of it. So congratulations Wiggles, you got an awesome buck. I didn't really get a good footage of it because, well, you got a little bit excited but I don't blame you, anybody would. So I think that's going to be the end of this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.